In a League of Their Own podcast is brought to you by Smooth My Balls. Are you sick of snagging your nuts or cutting yourself with a generic Bic razor or generic clipper? Well, now you don't have to worry. Smooth My Balls offers a five-star below-the-belt care for men, starting with the Turf Chopper 3.0, the next-level razor that provides a very smooth and clean finish with no cuts on your sack. And coming in for the closer, you got the Pube Muncher 1.0, a compact mini vac that cleans up the job with no hair left behind. Head over to smoothmyballs.com today and use code LEAGUE at checkout for 15% off your top of the line men's grooming kit. Again, that's LEAGUE, L E A G U E, for 15% off. Smooth my balls, shave like a pro. Rep Sports. Rep Sports is a leading supplement and nutrition company that provides everything from pre-workout and protein to recovery supplements. If you're looking for a healthy pick-me-up, Rep also offers Raise Energy, a zero sugar drink that helps with workout with workout and recovery uh, mental focus as well. Head over to repsports.com today and use code LEAGUE for 15% off your order. That's L-E-A-G-U-E for 15% off. Golf kicks. Tired of wearing the same old pair of boring golf shoes? Not the most comfortable? Now you don't have to worry. Customize all types of shoes from Crocs to flip flops, sneakers to boat shoes, and wear them in style while you rip it up on the course. Head over to golfkicks.com and use code OWN20 at checkout to get a 20% discount on your order. That's O W N 20. Screw your shoes. Dreamer loot. Want to rep the best up and coming sports podcast? Of course, you do. Head over to streamerloot.co today and check out our first line of, of merch. We have t shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, and stickers. Again, that is streamerloot.co to check out our merch. Hey, everybody, it is Tuesday, May 18th, 2021. Three game twos are underway tonight in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and the NBA Eastern Conference has their playing games to see who makes the playoffs. And there goes that man's jock <laughs> Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> America's team? Yeah, right. Oh baby, it's a big day in sports. There's nothing like battling it out with your teammates all season long to go win a championship. Green Bay's got it this year. Huge move for him. I think it's going to be a game changer. We have a lot to talk about this busy week in the sports world. Welcome to the In a League of Their Own podcast. All right, again, everybody, welcome to the show. Uh, kicking things off here today, we're going to do a little something different. Usually we start off with our NFL talk. Um, again, everybody knows it's the NFL offseason, and today we really didn't have anything to dive into. So um, for those of you who are seeing kind of trends on social medias of people uh, – doing this uh, little game we're about to do. I got a list of eight different athletes um, from two from each four major sports, one current athlete, one past athlete. I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock for Austin here, and he can ask me yes and no questions to try to figure out who this player is. So like rattling off um, what major sport, what conference, team, stuff like that. And he's basically got 30 seconds to see if he can figure it out. So that, that's going to be how we're going to start off the episode today. So do you give me any hint? No, zero hints. It's it's so it's ba- it's you go go. And then I just yeah, start asking you questions. Yeah. And and, figure out. Yeah. Then you just go like and NFL. Like, and then I say, yeah, yes or no. NHL. Yes or no. MLB. Yes or no. And NBA then, is the other one. Yeah, so it's the four major sports, so it's easy for you there. So that's kind of your your four major questions, and then from there you figure out which conference, what division, and then team. And then you could ask current player, and I'd say yes or no, or past player, yes or no, and then, yeah, so. Um, All right, and then instead of just saying, like, the NHL, NFL, I'm just going to be, like, football, hockey, baseball, basketball. Yeah. Okay. You ready? <sighs> No, but yeah. <laughs> All right. First one, 30 seconds on the clock. Go. MLB? No. NHL? No. Football? No. Basketball? Yep. Current or current player? Yes. Golden State Warriors? Nope. Bucks? No. Wizards? No. Heat? No. Nets? No. Lakers? No. Clippers? <laughs> no. 
Timberwolves. Nope. Oh my god, Rockets. Nope. Pacers. No. Nope. 30 seconds up. So basically you gotta guess a random player from any team that I didn't <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't say. <clears throat> Go ja Morant. No. Look at look at Doncic. <laughs> All right. <It's> so hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next one. 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Baseball. No. Basketball. No. Hockey. No. Football. Yep. Current. No. Hall of Famer. Yes. Quarterback. Yes. Joe Montana. No. Steve Young. No. Elway. No. Dan Marino. Yep, you got it. Let's nice. go. 23 seconds. All right. One for or one for two. One for two so far. All right. Next one. 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Go. Baseball. No. Basketball. No. Football. No. Hockey. Yep. Current. No. Hall of Famer. Yes. Pittsburgh Penguins. No. Wayne Gretzky. No. Keith Kachuk. No. Brett Hall. No. Jeremy Roenick. No. American. Yes. And the Hall of Famer. 30 seconds are up. I'll give you a hit. Oh, oh, oh. If I give you a hint, you're going to know right away, but I'll give it to you anyway. Your Flyers. American born. Actually, I'm not a, just looking at the name. It seems like an American name. It doesn't seem like it'd be. Chris Pronger. No. Bobby Clark. Oh, maybe he is. I don't know. I was trying to think of like a, a a past player from the Flyers, and I think he leads the team for. Doesn't he lead the team for most goals all time? Flyers history. Yeah. Okay. Uh he's Canadian. Oh, he's Canadian. All right. Yeah. He was born in Flin Flon. He's currently seventy-one years old. Okay. So we'll count that a watch. Yeah. All right. Next one. Thirty seconds on the clock. Go. Baseball. Yes. Current. No. Pitcher. No. First base. No. Josh Hamilton. No. Manny Ramirez. No. Jeter. No. A-Rod. Yep. 23 seconds on that one as well. Your face when I said Jeter, you're just saying, nope. I was like, <laughs> the Yankees, who else? Yeah. I was about to go so many. I was about to just start ripping them off. All right. Next one. 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Baseball. No. Basketball. Yep. Current. No. Hall of Famer. Yes. Bulls. No. Charles Barkley. Nope. Patrick Ewing. Nope. Larry Bird. Nope. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Nope. Was it a Laker? No. Hmm. 30 seconds is up. You got one more guess. Dirk. No. Paul Pierce. You're close okay. with you're close with Larry with Celtics, but I was gonna go KG, Ray Allen. I, I should have named the big three. All right, we got three left here. Um, 30 seconds on the clock. Go. Hockey. No. Baseball. No. Football. Yes. Current. Yes. Super Bowl champion. No. Packers. No. Chiefs. No. Um, AFC. Yes. South. No. West? Yes. Melvin Gordon? 
Oh my fucking god, you got it right at the end. <laughs> I was, I just ended the timer. It's like, all right, you got one guess. He fucking says Melvin Gordon. <laughs> I was trying to think when you said Super Bowl champ, because he I think he came over to the Chiefs the year at, or the Broncos the year was, after they won it. Yeah. So I had to remember quick because he was on the yeah, Chargers and then came yeah. over. He's never won a Super Bowl. Um, all right, two left. Yes, two left. Should be uh baseball and uh basketball, right? Hockey. B- baseball and hockey. All right. So it's gonna be one of those two. Mm-hmm. All right, three seconds on the clock. Go. Baseball. Yes. Current. Yes. Brewer. No. Will he be a Hall of Famer? Yes. Mike Trout. Yep. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I was like, fuck, he's going to get it right after that one. Well, there's only three or four that you you know that... Right now, that are playing that you're like, okay, they're going to be a Hall of Famer. It's like yeah. him, Clayton Kershaw, um, what's his name, who plays right field for Mookie Betts, mm-hmm. um, Bryce Harper, arguably. Yeah, there's a couple that you could... All right, last one. You know it's hockey, so yep. you got that one out of the way. Uh, 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Go. East? Yes. No, no. Central? No. West? No. So Canadian? Yep. Toronto? Yes. Matthews? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you did pretty good. You got one, two, three, four, five, five out of the eight. And one well, was a wash. Yeah, three or the three you didn't get was Luca, Bobby Clark, Paul Pierce. And the Clark is a wash. Because that totally threw me off. Because, yeah, you are right. The name does sound American, but yeah, he's Canadian. I yeah. Was just like, who the fuck would be an American-born Hall of Famer on the Flyers? I was like, I should shoot myself being a fucking diehard Flyers fan and not knowing this question. I don't think there has been one. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. Um, we'll have to try some more games like that in the future. I'll try to come up with maybe a, a little bit. Oh, for tomorrow, I'll come up with. I'll come up with eight. Okay, that works. The NFL is going to be dry right now. Yeah. Unless something crazy comes out that's, what, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes that we talk about, and then we can do the game. Yeah. Or we just open with the game. Either way, it doesn't – literally, it doesn't matter to me. But, yeah, until after – like, after June 1, you start to see some trades and stuff like that or some signings. Maybe there will be some NFL stuff then, but – yeah, right now, not a whole lot going on, but. Um, oh, Jeremy Roenick. He was the American-born Hall of Famer from the Flyers. Damn, Eric Lindros is not in the Hall of Fame. This has got to be a joke. Just one second, dude. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is just a list of people who they think should be in there. Okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, um, I guess jumping over to the NBA here then. Uh, Play-in uh, tournament starts tonight uh, for the Eastern Conference. You got 9 versus 10, Pacers, Hornets, 7 versus 8, Celtics, Wizards. Um, we both kind of gave our predictions on that yesterday, so we won't really go into it too much. But Pacers, Hornets kicks off at 5.30, Celtics, Wizards at 8. Um, you watching that? Yeah, I'll definitely be watching those. Um, I'm going to probably be go- – doing dual screens, got hockey or hockey or basketball on the phone and the other one on the laptop and maybe a different one on the TV. I'm going to, it's going to be a overload of sports today, trying to keep up with everything that's going on, even some baseball. Um, uh, we'll, I'll, we'll dive into that once we get to that, but um, yeah, it's a fun time of year where you got all this kind of stuff going on at once. Baseball is still kind of in its early stages, but NBA and uh, NHL playoffs going on at the same time. It's definitely fun, but yeah, the championships are like a week or two apart too. It's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. 
so yeah, those will be fun games to watch. And we'll obviously break those down for you tomorrow as well as talk about what's going on in the West. Um, but then the other, I guess, uh, thing to mention the NBA is uh, Phoenix Suns, your team that you got going all the way this year. Head coach Monty Williams gets the uh, coach of the year award for, for this year. All 30, all 30 coaches make out their list of who they think is coach of the year. And he, he uh, came at top of that list. So definitely de- very deserving gets, gets the uh, sons, their first playoff berth. And I believe 10 years, I think it was 2011, I believe. Yeah. Is once Steve Nash was still there. When, uh, yeah. So it's, it's been a long time coming for the sons to get back into the playoffs. So great to see them back. And like I said, very deserving of him to get that. Yeah. Congratulations, Monty. You're partly one of the reasons why I did pick the sons. Um, he's been around the league for a while. I feel like he's finally built a team that's ready to do it. For sure. Um, any, uh, any other points with the NBA? We're kind of flying through the episode today. Not, it's kind of one of our first lull days of news to talk about, but. Yeah, I mean, nothing, no, nothing really. I mean, I did see a list that did come out of the, uh, potential uh mv oh sorry nala sorry little kitty um i did see a list that came out of the uh potential candidates for mvp and it was like uh chris paul um chris paul james harden don chick and bead curry and there's like two other players. Yeah, Jokic. There was like two other players that were on there too. And like looking through all their stats and stuff, it was like surprisingly, James Harden has the best like average out of all of that. But yet again, the most valuable player is supposed to be who's the most important to your team. Yeah, that could be Not- a kind of a three-way tie between – well – Probably a two-way tie between him and Durant. Kyrie obviously is an important part of that team, but I wouldn't put him in the MVP conversation. But also James Harden only played a fraction of – I feel like it's much like – yeah, Harden always puts up impressive numbers. But- you have to play at least like 40, I think it was. You have to play like – in a regular season, you have to play a half plus one game to be eligible. I don't know what it was in the shortened – no, they didn't – yeah, they did a 10-game shortened season. So yeah. Maybe it's the same thing. Yeah, but I don't know. I definitely give more respect to the guys who stayed healthy, grinded all year, played all damn near 72 games. Um, yeah, I mean, I, like I said, again, Harden is obviously unbelievable. The, the, and that's wouldn't be the wouldn't be the same without him, obviously. But um, if you would have played a full season and kept his same numbers, then, yeah, I'd, I'd maybe give him the nod. But when you're struggle to stay to stay healthy and you're kind of in the shadow of Kevin Durant on that team at the same time it's kind of it's kind of hard to it's like it's kind of like giving Anthony Davis like having Anthony Davis in the MVP conversation when he's on the team with LeBron you know what I mean he's kind of under the shadow of LeBron a little bit even though Davis is the one LeBron's the two yeah and he knows that just like I in in Brooklyn I feel like a 1A, 1B, kind of like a two-headed monster between Durant and Harden, whoever you want to give the ball to, whoever Kyrie decides. It doesn't matter who he's giving the ball to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's got a 1A, a 1B. They're both really number ones. And then Kyrie would be that two. Blake would be the three. Who else should they have on the team? Um, right. Joe Harris. Joe Harris and did they who did they sign one? Jo- other DeAndre player? Jordan. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. <laughs> um yeah, it's gonna be interesting with the MVP race this year again. We kind of yesterday we talked about Curry kind of coming Giannis out of nowhere. Giannis was on the list. Yeah, he kind of had well, he his free throw his free throws got better and I think his field goal percentage in general went up a little bit, but I don't know. Not enough to be MVP, I don't know. I think it's going to be either Curry Embiid, or I think it's going to be Embiid, Curry or Embiid, Embiid. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think Curry might have cut, might have got hot a little too late. Honestly, if you would have if you would have started his hot streak maybe two or three weeks sooner, 
because a couple of weeks before Curry got hot, it was all Embiid Jokic was the two and then Embiid pulled ahead. And then, so Jokic fell behind and then Curry kind of leapfrogged Jokic, but didn't really seem like he got to the same intensity as Embiid yet. So, but I don't know. I obviously, I don't sit in that room and make those decisions. So it'll be interesting to see, I guess, what they do there. Cause Again, like we talked about yesterday, Curry matched, if not beat, some of his unanimous MVP season numbers. So if that has any weight, that gives him a one-up on and beat it in that case. So, um, but yeah, we'll see. A handful of guys had a really great year. And uh, yeah, as soon as that gets announced, we'll definitely dive into that. But um, I'm going to jump over to the MLB here uh, for a handful of points. Um, Otani, um, Shu, uh, how, how do you say his first name? Shantai. Shantai. Yeah. I believe that's, that's how, how I say would it. say it. <laughs> that's how I'd say it. Um, yeah. Anyway, he becomes the seventh player since the year 1900 with 60 home runs and 15 games as a pitcher. So he's kind of one of those dual threat dynamic guys in the league right now. Um, again, being on the Angels with uh, Mike Trout, it's kind of crazy that you have Otani doing as well as he does and Mike Trout doing what he does year after year. But yet they're a sub-500 team, um, which, again, I think comes down to their bullpen a little bit because they don't have one a, a very deep bullpen. But anyway, giving him a shout out there just because you don't really see that a lot <laughs> where you have a guy who can stand on the mound but yet go yard um consistently so oh and just to hop in he's currently leading the mlb in home runs with 13 and he's got an era of 2.10 which is tied with max scherzer from the nets or from the nationals so kids unbelievable at baseball and that everybody's excited to see what he's gonna gonna do for the future he's a young kid so yeah for sure i didn't realize his era was that good too but yeah, and then uh, Albert Pujols uh, last year got uh, waived by the Angels, uh, gets signed by the Dodgers. Uh, last night in his Dodgers debut, went one for four. Uh, afterwards, said that uh, no hard feelings towards the Angels, uh, was thankful for his time there, and um, came to a Dodgers team that he obviously knows can win now, and he says he's ready to contribute in whatever way. Um DH or first base or just situational stuff. He said he understands where he's at in his career and just is looking to contribute in any way. So good for him to go to a team like that and uh, maybe get a ring, another ring. So, yeah, he did get an RBI as well. What that one hit was an RBI. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I think it was like a 3 1 game. So it was a close game. So that RBI was kind of insurance for them in that game. Um, the White Sox, again, kind of. Uh, taking the, the league by storm this year. They stay hot. They put up 16 runs yesterday against the struggling Twins in a 16-4 to four game. Uh, they have won eight of their last 10 and currently sit at the top of their division. Um, New York Mets outfielder Kevin Pillar, he got hit in the face by a pitch last night. 74 or 94 mile power fastball. Um, suffered multiple nasal fractures, but then he later come out and tweet that night that he's doing fine. Um, I guess I don't know how long it takes to come back from, uh, fracturing your face, but, um, not long, especially in baseball too. They can give him one of those. Oh yeah. The space guards. Yeah. So he'll be all right. Yeah. All right. And then the last point with the MLB, uh, the Brewers, they had an off day yesterday and then they are in Kansas city tonight, uh, as they look to get back on track against a struggling Royal squad, uh, it's a short two game series and the uh, first pitch pitch is going to be at seven ten ten on that one. So um, like we were talking about earlier, a lot of stuff going on tonight, probably have that on some hockey, some basketball. So it's going to be a Wood- fun night of sports. Sorry. Was Woodruff starting tonight? Um, I guess I'd have, to, I'd have to look at that. I would imagine so. Cause I don't think he started. Uh, yeah, it is Woodruff. He is? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Woodruff will be on the mound tonight. Um, I don't know if... Oh, the Brewers haven't released their lineup yet. Still kind of waiting on Yelich. 
he's on his 10 day, uh, uh, injury leave. Um, I think last week he got put on that. So by the weekend, maybe he'll be back again. Kind of sucks to see the, the Brewers struggling just to stay above 500 right now. And then without their power hitter, um, that definitely hurts as well as they've lost uh, some close games and some games that they struggled on offense. So hopefully they can get him back soon and he can stay healthy. Um, once they get down the stretch here. Yeah, for sure. 100%. And yeah. Um, again, uh, NHL playoffs are underway in full swing. Got some games tonight. Uh, you want to break those down for us? Yeah. So breaking them down just really quick from last night, Bruins topped caps in overtime. That was a really, really good game. Carolina and Avalanche whooped the shit out of uh, the other teams that they played last night. Really, it's going to be a short series for those two. So then, there's nothing really to dive into. Um, I'm not going to be a stat guy and read off who scored the goals and all that type of stuff. I'm just going to run over who's playing and whatnot. So look look for the Avalanche and the Hurricanes to 4-0 or 4-1 the first round. Tonight you have the Islanders and Penguins game two, 630. Tampa and Florida play at seven o'clock. And then you also have Minnesota and Vegas um, at nine central over on NBCSN. The Islanders Pens is also on NBCSN. And then you can catch the Florida series on uh, CNBC. So going to be watching those tonight. Excited for Tampa, Florida, and Minnesota and Vegas because those are the best two series so far as far as altercations i should say which everybody loves to see so uh yeah excited to get to that and we'll see what happens with the uh i guess a quick question for you we we're kind of talking about off the year or before we went on the air um islanders penguins um for those of you who don't know islanders won game one there are the pens in trouble if they drop both games at home to start the series and then got to go uh over to new york yeah, if Pittsburgh goes down 0-2 tonight. They're going to put themselves in a really tough hole. Um, it'd be it's interesting. I'm I'm interested to see who they're starting tonight. I didn't even look to see who they're starting. I'm I'm waiting for that to be a complete surprise. I'm hoping it is not Christian Yari in the net, but also at the same time, you do have Gino Malkin, who's a game time decision. That's Evgeny for people who don't know his nickname. Um, but yeah, game time decision. If he's in. Maybe stay Yari. Otherwise, I'd say go to Matt Murray. Yeah, it's kind of a – I thought Pittsburgh was going to kind of run away with that series. And it seemed like in game one they struggled and then obviously went on to lose it. So, um, But also at the same time, Pittsburgh could come out tonight and Crosby goes nuts. So who, who, who knows what's going to happen there. But, yeah definitely would be concerning if pens drop their first two games at home. Yeah. We'll be interested to see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's all. That's all I got today. All right. Yeah. I didn't have really anything else to add today. Again, kind of a shorter episode. Um, we'll try to add more segments in over the summer. Again, once the NBA and NHL are done and NHL are done, the really only thing that's going to be to talk about is baseball. So um, we'll golf. try to, and golf. Yeah. So we'll have to, we'll add some more segments kind of like we did at the beginning of the episode today. Um, maybe do some more breakdowns of like for a previous episode, we broke down the top 32 starting quarterbacks. We could kind of dive into something like that with either the NHL, the NBA, um, all that kind of stuff. So we'll figure some out for sure. But, and yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by today. I know it was a short episode. Like Colin just said, Feel free to stop by any one of our channels, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Uh, give us a like and follow. Um, you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere on the web. That's in your in a league of their own podcast. And yeah, we will catch you guys tomorrow. Sounds good. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.